Well, state and federal agents raided a daycare center in South Minneapolis earlier today, part of an ongoing effort to crack down on a massive fraud problem. Fox 9 investigator Jeff Ballion's been tracking the issue for months, and he has the latest. Parents dropping off their kids at the Baraka Child Care Center were greeted by some unfamiliar faces. Fraud investigators from the Minnesota Department of Human Services. One mother told us they were asking if anyone knew of anything shady happening at the center. Agents from the State Bureau of Criminal Apprehension and the Secret Service also took part in this raid. Armed with a search warrant, they confiscated cell phones, computers, and documents as part of what's being called an ongoing investigation of child care funding fraud. The state currently has 10 centers under investigation suspected of stealing millions in public subsidies meant for low-income families to pay their child care. Multiple government sources tell the Fox 9 investigators the problem is rampant and may be costing Minnesota taxpayers as much as $100 million a year. It's just widespread and it's national and it's multi-state. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services is also cracking down on the problem. It reports that nationally in 2015, more than 300 million in improper payments went to daycare providers. Typically, the way this scam works is the fraudsters overbill the government by inflating attendance records. Due to the, the, the sheer volume, um, you know, whether you add three children onto a sign-in sheet and you're one of 80,000 providers, that you know, the chances of uh, of someone proactively finding, identifying you as a fraudster, uh, are probably um, small. A check of state enforcement records shows the Minneapolis Center targeted in this latest raid was cited last month for lacking documentation that one of its teachers was qualified for the job. And last year, the center was ordered to pay a fine for not doing background checks on some employees. We tried contacting the owner of the daycare for a comment, but he has not returned our calls. This is the second center that's been raided by the state in the past five months, and more are expected.